Hi, I'm Alex, and this is Parts Explained. So this here is a starter. Your starter is comprised of two different parts. The solenoid, which pops the starter gear out, and the actual motor, which spins the gear to start your car. You need both of these things to be working in order to get your car running. And the way a starter works is, when it's given power, the solenoid pushes the starter gear out and begins to spin as it engages with the flex plate. This gets your motor turning and the spark plugs fire, which in that in turn gets the motor running. At that point, the starter gear releases and you're off to the races. On really old cars, you would actually use a hand crank where you would turn the engine over by hand and the ignition would do the rest. And in a pinch, if you have a manual vehicle, you can put it in first gear, you can push it down the road, and you can pop the clutch to get the motor started. Occasionally, if you have an older starter or an older vehicle, the brushes will actually get so corroded that they won't make contact and start. In this instance, you can tap on the back of the starter and the brushes should move just enough to be able to make electrical contact. You should be able to turn the key and drive away. In this instance, it is a sign that you'll need a new starter. So once you get to your destination, log on to carparts.com, pick up a new starter.